and uh, I'm your today's level four instructor. And um, I hope you all are doing well and keeping safe and also enjoying your exercises um, on the charity website. Um, I hope you all are doing well and uh, these level four exercises class is for people who can walk by, uh, walk independently using a pole or a quad stick inside the house as well as outside the house on even terrain and uh, if you think you, you can do that then this class is suitable for you, okay? Also, um, if doing the exercises, uh, you know, it's for people who can do exercises uh, without any support. So if you think you can do that then these classes are for you, okay? So brilliant. Um, let's start with a little bit of warm up today and what we're going to do is we're going to start with some marching on the spot. Perfect. Great. And we're going to do now some twisting from side to side. nine exercises 
but every exercise is combined. They have got two exercises in one group. So it's basically nine circuits. And in each circuit is going to be two minutes work. And you do two exercises, each for 10 times, and you just keep repeating it until the buzzer goes off, okay? So two exercises every time you're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you before that what exercises you will be doing, okay? So, great, okay. So the first exercise you're going to do is, you need weights for that. So if you've got good grip, you can hold in both hands here, and then just, so keep around your shoulder, and just press forward and back. If you don't have um, grip in your affected arm, you can hold the dumbbell, hold it with the other hand, and just press forward and back, okay? So we're gonna do that 10 times, and then the next exercise we're gonna do is a side lunge. So you take a side step, and bend the knee which is going out, and do the same with this leg, okay? So let's go, ready, steady, go. So one, two, three, four, Five, I'll show for people who cannot do without um, both hands. Four and five, perfect. Now we're going to do some side step. So you stand here, you take a side step and bring it back. Make sure toes are pointing forward and you take a side step and lean to the other side, great. So the knee which you are standing on, this knee is straight, this knee bends, okay? So side step and bend. Side step and bend. If you have got good strength in your arm and good grip, you can always hold on to the dumbbells, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five on each side. So I'm gonna do one more, great, and back again, perfect. We've got one more minute left, come on. Let's see if we can do more than two sets. Two, three, four, five. For people who can't hold the dumbbell, one, two, three, four, Five, perfect, okay. Now five lunges on each side. So you can also do one of this exercise is take a side lunge, lift your arm up and bring it down. This is really good for people if you can hold a stick and lift up. And if your balance is good, you can definitely try this. Great, perfect. If you don't have enough grip to hold the dumbbell uh, or the stick, you can always do it this way, okay? So it's good to do different variations. Great, and back down, perfect, okay. We've got still 10 seconds left, come on, we can do a few chest press. One, two, three, four, five. And five for the other one. One, two, three, and perfect, okay. Now, we go to the next circuit, and the next circuit, we, you keep your hands here, and you just lift your knee as high as possible, touching your elbow. If you can't bend your affected knee, don't worry about it. Just do with the good knee, uh, the less affected knee, and lift this as much as you can. At least you can twist as much as possible, okay? For the next one, you need chair behind you, and you need to sit on the edge of the chair, and just lean back, and just lift, pick your legs up, okay? So I'm working on my core. So let's go. So, we're gonna first start with hands here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So really working those core muscles and feel the tension in the tummy muscles. Great. Couple more. And that's it, okay. Now make sure you've got chair behind you. I've got rolling stool, so I'm okay. But if you do have a chair, make sure you take time to move to the chair now. Okay, you sit on the edge of the chair like this, and with your um, non affected arm, you can hold the chair if you want to, and lean back a little bit so you can lift your leg up. Okay, so ideally, if you can work on your core and lift your both legs up, that would be great. And we're just going to do that 10 times. Okay, so 10 scissors, great, and stop there. Perfect, back again into standing. So just stand up and come forward and do one. Two, three, four, five, six. Lift as much as you can, okay? And ten. Perfect. Okay. Now sit again on the chair, in the uh, at, on the edge of the chair, and hold with one hand or with both hands if you can. Grip and just lift your leg up, so you can just touch your heel. 
and lift it up, okay? So you've just got to do that 10 times. Great, so on, you can do one, a uh, few more in standing, and let go, and here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect, we've still got a few seconds, sit on the edge, and see if you can do couple. Perfect, okay. Now, the next one you've got, if you've got good grip, you hold your hand, uh, hold the dumbbells in your hand, and bend your elbows, press up, bend it back, and down, okay? Or, you can hold it with both hands, bend, push up, bend, push up, bend, and push up, okay? So we're gonna do this 10 times, and the next one we're going to do is, you hold a dumbbell in your hand, you bring your leg forward, keep your heel down, and you just touch down and lift up. Touch down and lift up five times on each leg, okay? So ready, steady, go. One. Great. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now for people who cannot hold the dumbbell with both hands, great, one, two, so you can do it at your own pace, four, and last one, five, perfect, okay, brilliant. Now, you hold one dumbbell in both your hands or in both uh, different hands, up to you, take a step forward, I'm just resting on my heel, bending my back knee, keeping my front knee as straight as possible, and just bending down. I'll just show you from the side. So my back is out as much as possible, and I do that five times, okay? Great. Once you've done that five times, you drop the legs, and do the same on the other side, okay? So the, the knee which is behind bends, and the front knee uh, is kind of straight, a little bit bent five degrees, but you are on the heel of the leg, okay? Great. And back up. Brilliant. If you want, you can lift your hand up as you come up. So down you touch, and as you come up, you bring your hand up, okay? Entirely your choice. Good ways to bring your hand up. That shows you've got good balance as well. Great. And we're gonna do again. One. And again, two. And again, three. Perfect. Four. And last one, five. Okay, now for people who can't hold the, with the other hand, five more. One, two. Okay, so the next circuit we're gonna have is, uh, again, you hold weights for this one in both your hands or just one hand, and take a step forward, and we're just gonna do a lunge, okay? Simple. Great, okay? So this is the first exercise, we do that 10 times. And the next one you're going to do is uh, stand here and you stand on one side of each stick, you step forward, you step back, you step forward, step back, okay? So we're just going a zigzag, okay? So let's do that 10 times. So I'm gonna move the stick, hold the dumbbells, and go. One, I'll swap my legs. Two, swap my legs again. Three, four, Five. Make sure you bend both your knees and make sure your toes are pointing forward. Great. If you do need help, you can hold the chair with one hand, okay? Great. Keep going. Good. And one more. Perfect. So that's ten. And now you bring the stick in front of you. I hope you can see the stick. And I'm standing on one side and I'm going to go forward. Backwards, forward, back. That's one, forward, back, forward, two, back, forward, back, forward, three. So you're just going zigzag from one end to the other end. Okay? Great. Perfect. Keep going. Brilliant. Good. Three more. Good. So really working your neck muscles here. Great. And we do one more. And stop there. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna move the stick or you can step back um, and you can do it uh, behind the stick. Okay, so you don't have to move it again and again. So go. One. And make sure your toes are pointing forward. Two, three, four, five, 
five, six, and stop. Lovely. Well done, everyone. So it seems like we are doing at least one step of each. Okay, so the next exercise is just quick feet, jogging on the squat for 10 counts, and then we do the next exercise, which is uh, bringing your knee into your opposite shoulder, okay? So for this one, you, you, hold the, you hold a chair in front of you, be in a presser position, and then you just bring your knee to your opposite chest, okay? Great. So, 10 counts of jogging on the squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. So both the hands on the chair, or back of the chair, or furniture, whatever you've got, and in this position, and bring your opposite knee, uh, bring your knee to your opposite shoulder, okay? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Great. Back again. Jogging on the squat. Great. Some people might want to hold a chair or something, but it's good if you hold something and increase your speed. If you can't increase your speed, don't worry about it. Do as much as you can, okay? Perfect. Now hold back again the chair. Make sure you bring your legs back and make sure you're in a slanting position, okay? So hips forward. Some people can do this way as well, but that's not right, okay? It has to be here. And then you bring your legs in. Great. Four, six, eight, ten. Perfect. Okay. So back again. Jogging on the squat. Lovely. Good. We do that for ten pounds. And stop that. Great. Back again. To this is a cardio circuit. Okay. So. You have to make sure you do a little bit quicker. If you can bend your knee, that's great. If you can't bend your affected knee, don't worry about it. Just do as much as you can. You can always think about bending your other knee, non-affected one, okay? Back again, jogging on the squat. Come on, you've got literally seven seconds left. Good. And we stop there. Perfect, fantastic everyone. The next one we're going to do is uh, you take a step forward and you hold a weight and what you do is you bend both your knees and then you twist to the opposite side. Bring your leg back, step forward, bend both the knees and lift to the opposite side, okay? If you've got an elastic band, you can do it with an elastic band as well. I've got it just here. I'll show you later. And the next exercise we're going to do is... Um, you have to do a wall slide. So basically you should be against the wall. Um, you are against the wall and you just slide down and you come up, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is, um, so move the chair, okay? The first one you're gonna do is uh, bring your leg forward, touch the front toe and twist to the opposite side and swap again. Leg forward, and twist to the opposite side, okay? So we do 10 of those. Make sure your toes are pointing forward. Good. And come up. So when you touch down, you bend both your knees, and then you straighten your knees, and come up, okay? Great. Perfect. And down, okay. The next one is the wall slide. So what you do is you go against the wall, bring your feet 20 centimeters forward, hands on the wall and slide down and bring up. Now important thing is your whole back, upper back should be touched to the short, uh, to the wall, okay? Some people might not have a slippery wall, might have a matte finished wall, uh, which is a little bit rough. So you can just be careful or you can go around where you can do this easily, okay? Great. So just down and come up, perfect. And again, down and come up, lovely, you're going to do a couple more, and down, good, one more, and down, okay, perfect, now I'm just going to show you how you can do with the elastic band as well, if you want to, is you, you can tie your elastic band to your foot, or you can keep it down like that, hold it with your hands, and then you bend down, and as you're coming up, you twist, okay, then bring your legs back. 
back. Keep the band here, there, bend down, and then you twist to the opposite side when you come up, okay? Brilliant. We're going to do the next set. Okay. So the next one we've got is uh, side stepping on the cushion. You keep the cushion on the floor. Choose a nice small step as well, okay? So let's start that. So, what I'm going to do is 10 times side stepping on the cushion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Perfect, okay. Now, make sure you hold something if you want to. Because you're lifting your leg up and you just have to do is touch, okay? If you can't lift your leg up that high, don't worry about it. You can use a small, um, you know, even like you can use a couple of books, thick books or some uh, box if you've got. And just do is touching the box, okay? Ten times. So there's a couple more. And stop, okay. Now back again to side stepping on the cushion. So you step on the cushion, step out of the cushion. If you've got one of these foam pads, that's really great. You can practice a lot of balance activities on that, even outside your therapy session. Just like standing on it sometimes works really well and helps with your balance. Okay? Great. So try again. Good, we're gonna do two more. And stop there. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go back into the stepping. We've got half a minute left. So hopefully we can finish this and go back into the side stepping. Three, four, five, six. So this is a really good exercise for shifting weight from side to side. Okay. Couple more. And back down. Lovely. Back again to cushion. So one. Let's see how many we can do in 10 seconds. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Perfect. No, that was really good. Seven, seven. We managed. Okay. So um, the next exercise we've got is uh, again. It's going into a presser position. So make sure the chair you have got is uh, near, uh, at, uh, close to the chair uh, board, so it's not going to move. And what you do is you go into this position, you go into this position, and from here, you go onto your elbow, and then come back, okay? So you go onto your elbow, and then you come back. Now, if you struggle with holding your, if you struggle with uh, going onto the elbow, some people might be able to do that, but if you struggle, then you can do is just to do press-ups, okay? But if you can go in onto your elbow, and then come back, that'd be really great. Um, the next one we're going to do is um, you're going to hold a um, you're going to hold a chair or a wall, and just going to curling forward and back. Okay, so I'm uh, uh, curling my back, and then I'm arching my back. Okay, you can hold something at this level if you want to. Uh, so even it could be a stick, or it could be a furniture, or it could be a chair. Okay. So let's do those two, and in this position, onto the elbow, back up one, and back up two, three, four, five, and if you want, some people can do five press ups, no problem, depending on what you can do, okay? Four, and five, okay. Now the next one is, I'm holding the chair in front of me, and I'm just going to curl my back, arch my back, curl my back, arch my back. Make sure your knees are straight. So curl 
and out. Really good for that spine movement. Curl and out. Curl and out. Good. Let's do five more times. Good. really works well if your hand is at your at 90 degrees from the floor. Great. Uh, perfect. Okay. So let's get back into the press up position and we're going to go into four up, then go back into here. Okay. So that's two. Great. Back again. Three. Back again. Four. Back again. Five, five more, seven, great, three more, keep going, and if you want, last couple, you can do press up, or people who are already doing press ups, you can do that, okay? Now the last one we've got here is uh, curling, we've got few seconds left, so curl and arch, curl and arch. Perfect, fantastic. We've got last circuit now before, uh, before we go into the pull down. So you bring your leg back, step backwards, foot cross, we do a courtesy lunge, you come up and then you kick, okay? Do the same on the other leg and come up. Perfect. Try again and back, okay? So that's the first one. And the next one we're going to do is chair is in front of me. You can put a cushion in front of you and we're going to try and do going on the floor and coming up. Now we did that last week. If you can't do that still, you can catch up with doing squats. Okay? So let's do first is the courtesy lunge. So back, one, and again, two, three, four, five. If you want to hold something, you can. Six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, and ten. Perfect. Okay. Now I've got chair in front of me, or you can have your settee. Put a cushion just so that it's comfortable for your knees. You hold onto the chair arms or the seat, and then just go down and come up. Be very careful if you've got knee replacements done, or you've got pain in the knees or in the hip. Make sure you do the squats. Okay. So back again. One. It's a really good way of uh, learning how to get up on and off the floor, okay? Great. And back again. Good. And down again. We're going to do one more. And up. Perfect. Okay. We've got 30 seconds approximately left. Let's do some more the courtesy lunges. So back one. And again two. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, ten. Perfect, fantastic. Let's see, we've got last ten seconds. See how many we can do in ten seconds, okay? So hold there, one knee, then the other knee, and then come up into standing, okay? Back again, one knee. Back into standing. Perfect, okay. Let's do a short cool down. Okay, so you're sitting in the chair. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. And first thing you'll do is holding your hands, lifting your arms up over your head. Great. And hold it there. Good. Go as high as you can. And then gently bring it down. Perfect, okay. Now bring your one knee into your chest. Great, hold it there. Good. And then swap your legs. You can hook around with your other knee, um, other hand, your uh, non-affected arm. Great. And bring it down. Perfect, okay. Now if you sit on the edge of the chair and bring your one leg forward, keep your one knee bent, and then try to slide your hands down your shin. That'd be really good. Great. 
find you down and gently come up. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do on the other side. Gently come down. Try and touch your toes. Go as low as you can. Brilliant. And gently come up. Perfect. Okay, one more we'll do is bring your legs sideways and push out as much as you can. Great. And then on the other side, okay? Push as much as you can. And bring it back. Fantastic, everyone. Well done. That was a really hard workout. I'm sweating by now, so I'm, I'm uh, hoping that you enjoyed as well. You, please give us your feedback, whatever it is, and uh, let us know how you're managing the exercises. I will see you all next week. Till then, goodbye.